Hey, this is Michelle Getzinger with the Pittsburgh Your City Show, and I'm at the Baronhoff Museum in O'Hara Township. This museum sits on 18 acres and is 19,000 square feet, and it's filled with musical instruments, and I can't wait to take you through. So come on in and check it out. Hi, Michelle. Welcome to the Baronhof Museum. Thanks for having us, Jim. You're welcome. Tell me a little bit about the name Baronhof. Well, Baronhof stands for, uh, well, Bavaria. A Baron is Bavaria. Okay. And Hof stands for courtyard. As we go in through the stories, people who would come here and stay for a period of time. So it became more of a station. So it was um, the Baronhof. Baron. Charlie labeled it that. So why the music machines out of? out of anything he could have collected, why, why that? Well, Charlie was a brilliant man, and he realized that, uh, well, he collected a couple cylinder players and disc players, but as he lived here for the six years, he needed another draw in his mind to turn this place into a museum. Mm -hmm. And he knew that the music machines probably would be a better draw than card collections or coin collections or anything else, because there are some amazing uh, automated music machines that are out there, rare and unique machines that you know, just blow the socks off people when they come in. They had no idea that these type of things even existed. I'm ready to see some of these in action. Well, we've got a few that I'd, I'd be willing to and happy to show you. Um, one of them is the only one in the world. It's right this way. Well, this is the Polyphon Orchestrian number two. The machine that I was telling is the only one in the world. Now, it was here since the beginning of the museum, but we recently had it restored. Um, inside here, there's a piano roll that when it plays, it will release a pin and it'll play a harp and a drum and the cymbals sometimes. <laughs> but it's a nickel machine. Came out in 1904 and back in the day, that was a lot of money. Yeah. You know, so you'd find this in an upscaled restaurant, hotel lobby. Go ahead, Michelle. Oh, I gotta pull that little lever. There you go. Wow, that was beautiful. What I'm is that song called? It's called Lady of Spain. Lady of Spain. Lady of Spain. Beautiful. The only one in the world. Now I got another machine. It's one of six in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's right over here if you want to look at that. Now this is the Aeolian Orchestra. It's an orchestra. Uh, each one of these stops are a different instrument. It's a pump machine. Came out in 1905, so it could have been an electric, but it's not, it's a pump machine. So 1905, big box, highly maintenance, and folks, you can buy this and put this in your parlor for $5,000. Could, could explain why there's only six of them in the world today. But um, the Aeolian Orchestra. Very talented. Oh, look, mom, no hands. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you think would really let Charlie shine through. Well, the fact that he wanted Bavaria to be the theme because of his grandfather, his connection there to Bavaria. Every room in this house are based on themes of Mad Ludwig's castles in mm. Bavaria. Wow. And we've got one room in that this is a Bavarian home that's not Bavarian, the French room. Ooh. It's right this way and I'll show you. Cool. So this is the French room. Originally it was to be a concert hall. He was gonna have a piano over here, chairs over here, wrong size room, wrong acoustic, just wasn't gonna work. So he made it a bedroom. And he needed to get a nightlight for his bedroom, but he liked finding things that didn't look like music boxes. This is a Victrola. 1910, 1915 time period. The, the trumpet is the bass. Wow. And uh, we're listening to a 78 RPM record now. 1910, 1950. Who do you think the performer is? The number one guess is Al Jolson. And that's wrong. But number two is Mae West. But that's wrong too. It's really a group called the Virginians. 
And I knew that because I read the label. Jim, thanks again for having us out today. Michelle, it was great having you. And if anybody wants to come and see some of the other parts of the house, I understand there's a swimming pool and maybe a cave, a cave. Uh, and maybe some secret passage, but you never know. You have to come and see. What an amazing tour of this museum and private residence. To book your own private tour, please go to the website or call the number below. Thanks again for watching, and I can't wait to see you again next time.